Hello and welcome to another episode of BLG News for the week of February the 3rd. I'm Marcus Boston. I'm going to get right into it this week, guys. The Seattle Seahawks are the best team in the National Football League right now. They won the Super Bowl and I have crow all over my face because I had been giving Seattle a very hard time throughout the end of the regular season and through the playoffs. And now there's nothing more I can say. They are no longer regular season warriors. They are the best team in the National Football League. But I will say this. I don't like the Seahawks. I don't like them because I'm a Rams fan. So, of course, the Rams and the Seahawks, same division, ah, not going to work out too well. But there is one thing that I think that is very good that came out of this, and it is the fact that the dual threat quarterback is now changing football. For a long time, you had the statues, the Peyton Manning, can't really move in the pocket, Tom Brady, the Dan Marino type of quarterbacks. I think now the dual threat quarterbacks are now going to change the NFL going forward. So no more football, and we'll have to just wait until 2014 to see what the Rams are gonna do, and you're gonna have to wait and see what your favorite team is gonna do. The next story that I want to talk about, it's a personal story, and it deals with my little sister. Well, she's not little anymore. She just turned 21, so she is grown, as they say. But my sister made the rugby team at Florida State University, so we're going to give a big shout-out to Leah Boston for making the rugby team. There's that magical thumb again. It just comes out of nowhere. So, Leah, good job. I hope you guys have a great season this year and have fun. The third story that I want to talk about in the news this week, and this one is a very tragic story, and it's out of Florida, my home state. We just got done with the Trayvon Martin situation down in Florida, and now there is another high profile case that is going on in Florida right now, and it is Michael Dunn is going to stand trial for the murder. He's been charged, he's been charged with murder, right, Renee? Secondary. Secondary murder, I believe. But he's been charged with murder, and it is in the mor murder of Jordan Davis. This happened a while ago at a gas station in Jacksonville, Florida, and the allegations are all over the place. So this case is now going to go to trial. I think that Mr. Dunn is saying that he saw Mr. Davis or one of the, one of the gentlemen in the backseat of the car brandish a gun or pull out a gun and in response to that he supposedly he pulled his gun and fired so looks like it's going to be another self-defense stand your ground type of situation that's going to go on in florida and we have a white defendant and a black victim so you've got that racial element that is i'm sure that is going to uh it's going to be a factor in this case whether individuals like it or not, but I think that it will probably make its way uh, in, into discussions with this. So that is the third story that I want to talk about. The fourth story it deals with our newsletter, Off the Press, and we hope, we hope to have the newsletters out in the mail this week and you should be getting them if you have if you get a mail copy of the newsletter you should be getting that probably renee what maybe the last part of the week into next week um they probably receive them friday or saturday. friday or saturday if you're getting a mail copy if you get the e-copy the electronic copy then you'll get it in your email next week so off the press it is coming guys we are still working on it and the Fifth, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. The fifth story that I want to talk about this week deals with what's at the movies, and it's Ice Cube and Kevin Hart Ride Along is still the number one movie running three weeks in a row. Renee and I have not had an opportunity to see it yet, but we have been told that the movie is is funny, right, Renee? That's what people, I mean. people are saying it. it's a really, really funny movie. So. Right along is it still, it's not Friday. There is no Debo and he's not going to go cry in the car. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody does cry in the car. What you think, yeah. Renee? It is a ride along. It is a ride along. So somebody may, a car is involved. So somebody may cry in a car, but it's not Friday. But anyway, it's still, it's the number one movie. So if you haven't had an opportunity to check it out, Go ahead and check it out. If you have checked it out, you think it was a good movie, shoot us a message on Facebook or send us an email. Let us know whether you thought that the movie was good or not. 
And the last story that I want to talk about, because we are in February, Black History Month, and this Black History Nugget deals with right here in Maryland, in Prince George's County specifically, and it is OTI, the, hit it Renee. Old Town Inn. The Old Town Inn. If you frequent Prince George's County as attorneys, we're over there in the courthouses all the time, then you know that Old Town Inn is on the back side of the courthouse, and it is right next to the courthouse, right down the street from the library. And there's a lot of history behind that building. OTI, the reason why there's a lot of history is because there was a couple of blocks down from where the restaurant is, there was a slave auction site. And slave owners, after the auctions, they would go to what is now OTI, they would go to that restaurant, whatever it was called at the time, and that's where they would hang out and do whatever it is that slave owners did. So that's what they would do. And the ironic part about all of this is that now, and it's the same building, the building is still standing, it's been renovated, but it's the same, Renee, it's the same structure, same right? Structure, the yeah. same structure, it's been sitting there for a long time. But the really ironic part about it is now that building is now owned by a black man. Wow, full circle, I see. Guys, that's the news for this week. If you have a story that you would like to talk with us about or you would like to submit to us about something that you've got going on, some positive news, then send us an email to info at bostonlawllc.com. Again, that's info at bostonlawllc.com. And if it's something that we feel that is good and it, it can contribute to our BLG news updates, we will do our best to get it in the news. Again, I'm Marcus Boston. The woman that you don't see off camera is my wife, Renee Boston. And we will see you next time. Guys, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.